Hey, are you guys ready to see some stitch markers and new yarns? Let's go! Hi everybody, my name is Gina Pike. Welcome to the Knitting Term Pike. I'm so happy that you're here. This video clip is, it's a clip left over from when I was doing my last vlog video. I was showing some new yarns and stitch markers, trying to cram everything into one video that I had since the end of February, and that video was just getting way too long. So, I promised you guys we would do a new yarn, new stitch markers video, things I've accumulated. Super excited to share this, this with you. That's what we're going to be doing right now in this video. So grab your favorite drink, your favorite project, let's sit down and look at some brand new yarns and oogle and ogle over them. Okay, the next part I'm going to talk about is new yarns and I do have a few little stitch marker things to share with you that I've gotten since we have last spent any good time together. This is quite a lengthy section, so I hope that you're still with me and hanging out, and let's go ahead and get into it. I have some new stitch markers from Hand Stitch Life, just some cute little things, uh, progress keepers. Um, I won't pull them all out. Sometimes I get these, and I, I bought them for me, but then I end up giving them away, so they're so cute, but I really recommend her things. This is a little sweater, knitted sweater on knitting needles. Um, this one is a, a bee and honeycomb, honey on the comb, and I believe there's a little flower in there. Super cute. She has a lot of varieties. This one is um, a uh, starfish and a seahorse. Really cute. Anyway, so these are some new ones from her. I have her monthly. I have her monthly club coming again, I believe, for April. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, I thought I'd put this clip in here really quick. Um, I was just talking about the monthly club uh, for Hand Stitch Life. Uh, and I, when I went to the mail after I fil finished filming, it was in the mailbox. So I thought I'd go ahead and film this so that since we're just talking about it and since I'm making this a standalone video, the monthly club from Hand Stitch Life on Etsy. You can still go to her store and buy, I believe you can still buy these. This just came out. The April's monthly club based on fairy tales is called The Llama's Secret. Hand Stitch Life monthly club for April. That's what it looks like. And it says, The Llama's Secret is a retelling. These are based on fairy tales. Remember, is a retelling of a story from the Huara Chiri manuscript. Is a, oh goodness, these are words I can't pronounce. A Quechua language text dating back to the 16th century filled with the myths, stories, and religious beliefs of the indigenous Quechua people of Peru. I'll put the right spelling up there, Quechua. I'm probably mispronouncing that terribly. It says, in, the, in this great flood myth, a llama warns his family and fellow animals of an impending flood and guides them to high ground in the mountains. This story can be read in the book, The Llama's Secret, by Argentina Palacios, or at, and there's a link, and I'll put the link down in the description box below if you want to go read that story. In this month's club, we have Progress Keepers. A llama, which is this one. Isn't that cute? There's a lot of the details. Then there's uh, the cactus, which is... This one, isn't that pretty? With a little cactus flower blooming, cactus. And then colored stones, those. And then we have the stitch markers, and this is called a mountain turquoise mix. I thought these were free with this, but these are part of it. You get stitch markers and progress keepers in her stitch marker club. Aren't those beautiful different colors? This is called mountain turquoise mix so that's what you get for april's um monthly stitch marker club from hand stitch life and excited that it came in the mail while i was filming this same day awesome so let's go on to the next part of the video uh so those are stitch markers uh let's get into yarn i hope that wasn't that too fast um i'll be going slower on the yarns 
Um, the first yarn offering that I had to share from you guys is from Freckled Whimsy. Um, this is her, um, one of them is the Yarn of the Month Club. I can't remember what I got. Okay, this one is her Pisces offering. I had to buy the Pisces because that's my, it's, that's March and I'm a March baby. So this is her Pisces yarn. This is on Serendipity Yarn Base, which Serendipity is a Superwash Merino nylon mix. It's 75-25, which I like. I believe she has one other yarn offering that I like better called Kismet, but it's always sold out. Every time I go to her site, Kismet is sold out. I never get it. So this is 460 yards, uh, which is great amount for socks, 100 grams, four ply fingering. So it's a really nice offering. It's 75-25. I believe the Kismet's 80-20, which is why I want it, but it's it's always sold out but there you go isn't that pretty i love the blues and the colors in that i thought this looked different on her website i don't remember it looking like this but anyway it's self-striping uh sock yarn with a cute little mini i got that and then the other one i got is her yarn of the month club for march uh this is super cute look at the colors in this another self-striping yarn this is in the Let's see, this is a different yarn base, is it? No, this is Serendipity Yarn Base, 75-25, um, 75% Superwash Marina, 25% nylon, 460 yards. This is called Confetti. This is April 2023 Yarn of the Month, Confetti. It's a 12-stripe 12, 12 repeat. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the colors in that. That is gorgeous, and look at the cute little purple mini you get with this. I may end up giving some of these away. I know I, I subscribe to her Yarn of the Month Club, and I may give some of those away. So be watching some of my giveaways for that. That is really pretty, though. Look at all those colors. 12 striping colors. That's amazing. Anyway, I love that. And that's called Confetti. She'll probably be offering her colors on her website eventually. I think she does like yarn of the month and then it eventually some of them become colors that she will sell in heart on her website. Again, that's freckled whimsy. I will put that, uh, her website down below in the comments. So that's the first thing I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, the next thing is, let's see. Oh, I got some yarn from Jimmy Bean Wool. Yep. I love go shop, going shopping there. I always got, love their, um, Madeline twist. Madeline Twist. Madeline Tosh Yarns. And this I got is Twist Light, which this is a different yarn base for me. Um, this is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. It's more like a sock base. Uh, this is a beautiful colorway. This is called um, Camellia City. Here, I'll show that so you can see it. I might not be pronouncing it right. Camellia City. It is 420 yards, 384 meters. And let's see if there's anything else that you guys might want to know. Anyway, that's really, really pretty. Purples and greens, yellows. And then I also got in the same yarn base, the Twist Light. I got this beautiful green yarn. Um, I thought that would go pretty nice, like maybe for the toe and heel, because there is some of the green in there. This is called Jade. This colorway is called Jade. It's a beautiful green yarn. Green kind of goes with a lot of things. So 420 yards. So I've got those two Madeline Tosh Twist Light yarns. And then now I've got some new, a new sock, new to me sock yarn. And I want to share these. I got four of these. Four individual colors. Um, and I'm probably going to give a couple of these away. So just be watching for, for them on my um, giveaways. Uh, this is uh, called this is this is called Gusto Wool from Echoes. The yarn base is Echoes. This is Gusto Wool. These are sock yarns. Um, this is hand dyed sock weight yarn. It is. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to get some glasses to think. My eyes are horrible. Um, 80% merino wool, 20% nylon, which is perfect. I love that for socks. It is. 460, I can't read, 440 yards, 100 grams. So the great thing about these, look, 
They come already individually dyed so that you can make matching socks. So you can just wind these up and go. I love that. This color is called, these are made in Turkey. And this color is a number, it is 1502. Isn't that pretty? Pinks and yellows and purples. And these were not that expensive actually. For sock yarn, I believe it was like 20, less than $20, honestly, US dollars for both of these. So I'm hoping that they feel good when knitted up. I was pretty excited about it. I got this color as well. It's the same yarn, yarn base. Isn't that pretty? The blues and purples. Uh, this color is 1515 blues and purples. The same yarn, Gus, Echoes Gusto Wool from Madeline Tosh. I got two more of that to show. This color is, it's this color. Look at that, the blues and the greens. Isn't that pretty? And this is color, uh, 1504. So blues and greens. And then the last one I have to share with you is this one's kind of got more pinks and rusts and blues and a dark maroon in there. Beautiful. Uh, kind of more regal rustic. This is color 1514. Maybe some reds as well. So those were new to me. I thought they were really fun. Again, I'm probably going to give a couple of these away on my site. So just keep your eyes open for that. And I think we can officially say uh, my not buying any new yarn is officially a bust. I, <laughs> I can't keep to that, but I am knitting more from my stash. I will say that. And, uh, I have limited it a little bit. So I'm trying to be good, but obviously not good enough. <laughs> I have some more new sock yarns to share with you. These are new to me and I thought they were so cute. I couldn't wait to, I can't wait to share these with you. Um, as well. Oh, before I get far away, I'm going to go ahead and share these because these are also from Jimmy Jean Wool and I just haven't shared them. And these are, now these are, um, let's see, what is the base? This is another twist light. So this is a sock yarn. This is the 75% superwash merino, 24% nylon. Again, I got these from Jimmy Bean Wool. These are two twist lights. These are the same color. And I'll tell you why I got this. This is called West Texas um, West Texas, where is it? This is called West Texas Sunset. Aren't they beautiful? Blues and purples. Now my husband is from West Texas and that's why I got it. These, but I got two of them. I thought they'd be beautiful in a shawl really, but I could also make socks, matching socks for me and him. And that would be kind of cool too, since he is from West Texas, but I thought they were really pretty. So I got that. And again, this is from Jimmy Bean Wool. And then the other one I got is another, is this a twist light as well? Yeah, I guess I was really on the twist light kick. This is another twist light yarn, the 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. I thought these would be some beautiful socks. Um, not self-striping, just some different colors. And this is uh, called Fire Opal. So it's a beautiful colors. Blues and orange and greens and kind of pale purple, purple, really pretty colors. So that's that's all I got from Jimmy Bean Wool, which is enough. The next item I got, these I believe I got these from Mary Maxim. Yeah, these are Mary Maxims. These are perfectly paired duos. These are so cute. These are sock yarns. These are perfectly paired duo sock yarns. And um, these are... Again, Mary Maxim, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 50 grams, 1.75 ounces, made in Turkey. And look at these. Aren't these adorable? Look, they're individually done. So you have one for each sock, and they're already wind, wound up and matching, which I just think they're so cute. This color is, um, again, Mary Maxim says so are really affordable. Um, I can't remember what I paid for them. I'll try to look it up and put it across my face here. Um, sock yarn. <laughs> okay, this color is called Torture. Not sure I like that name, but it's called Torture. It's so pretty with the, look at the greens and kind of the rainbow in the center with the ending in the gray. Beautiful. 
All right, so that's that one. I got three more to share with you here. All right, this is the next one. Isn't that pretty? Let me take one out so I can find the color. Again, 80% Superwash Marina, 20% non. Oh, this paper just fell apart, totally. This is color 3010. That sounds a little bit better. This color, these blues with just like darks, all shades of blue, and a maybe a little, it looks a little bit purpley. This color is 4224. Isn't that cute? I love this, how they're individually done and all ready to go. So cute. I'm going to do, all right, so this is the next one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this dark maroon color. I've really been into the dark pinks with the maroons lately. Alright, this is what this color looks like close up. You can see the other one. Um, it's purple, a little bit of orange. Really pretty dark pink. This color number is 0892. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then I've got one more to show you guys. And again, I have like several of these, so I probably will have some of these in a giveaway. Sorry for the crinkly. Here's the last one in that cute, more a little more rainbow, light rainbow with pinks and orange, yellow, purple, ending in a pink. Uh, the number is uh, 7041. Again, these are Mary Maxim. Perfectly duo, perfectly paired duos sock yarn. Super cute. Love these. I can't wait to try some of these out. We have some to give away to share with you guys. All right, so <clears throat> that's another new pair of sock yarn I found. Now I'm going to share something that's a little more exclusive, but I still think is really cool. Uh, this yarn I got because I was in a club. I was in the Nitty Natty Club for last quarter. And in that, during that time, uh, she has a member in that uh, from Little Wolf's, Little Wolf's Knits. She's a yarn dyer. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her YouTube channel um, in, in the description box below. But she had um, uh, a yarn offering. Uh, just exclusively for the clubs so she picked some yarn colors. She did the dyeing process in a video I wasn't able to participate there some of the times they have some of the things like in zoom stuff I'll put nitty natty her yarn thing down below. You have to wait It's only open at the very beginning of the quarter or at the end of the last quarter before the next quarter um, I'm not sure that it's it's a little bit pricey, but if you want more camaraderie, more Zoom, she has Zoom meetings uh, that you can attend. I don't think I attended even one, but uh, she has a lot of different things in her club. If you want to participate, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you have time, I just didn't have time, and plus I was sick a lot during that time. So I wasn't able to participate because I was so sick. But um, anyway, let's get back to the yarn. The Little Wolf's Knits. This lady is a member of her club, and she offered an exclusive yarn dyeing. She showed how she dyed her yarns, which I didn't get to see. I wanted to see it so bad, I didn't get to see it. But she also offered the yarn that she dyed during that time as for sale for the members. And I bought some, and I was so excited um, with the yarn. I got a couple of things, a tea. I got a couple of things off the, the yarn thing. Um, again, this is her card, Little Wolf Knits. I'll link it down below. I got a couple of different things. All right, the first thing I got, this colorway is called, it's exclusive. It's called Love and Speckles. Uh, Nitty Natty lives in New York. She loves a lot of pinks. Um, so that, And her, her thing is called... Um, Love and Stitches, so they called this Love and Speckles. The The members got to name this as well, voting on the name. Isn't that pretty? I got two skeins of this. This is, I thought this would be a beautiful shawl. This is um, her Sure-ish base, if I could read. This is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, fingering weight, four-ply yarn. It is... 463 yards per 100 grams. I'm sorry, this is her Sunfish yarn base. My eyes. And then again, this is called Love and Speckles, and I got two of these. So this is like about 900 yards of this yarn. Isn't that really pretty? All the little pinks and beige and blues. And anyway, so I got two of those. 
um, Sunfish yarn base from the Little Wolf Knits. And um, I don't know if she's going to be offering this yarn color like in the future. Um, I'm not sure. I may end up giving some of these away. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just wanted to buy some because it was exclusive and it was fun. And she also gave this cute little stitch marker. Um, it's a cupcake. And I got actually ended up getting three of these uh, because I bought another yarn offering as well at the same time. This is the Love and Speckles. This is, um, I believe this is Sunfish again. Yep, this is Sunfish. So this is a sock yarn base. Again, it looks just exactly the same. But the thing I got that was extra, this was a, a set she offered with a mini. It's kind of a light brown. It's called Toaster. That's called Toaster. Uh, Natalie's dog is called Toaster. So she offered a sock set with her dog as the name for the mini. And that's just a sock set that you can use to knit up socks. I thought it was really cute. So Sunfish yarn base, Little Wolf Knits. So that's another thing I got. In the last few months that I haven't shared. Um, I did also join uh, Suburban Stitcher, uh, her Yarn of the Month Club, and I got a couple of these to share since I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I ended up uh, opting for her sock yarn, uh, and I got this one is a uh, Lake at Dust. Isn't that pretty? I think this may not be the Yarn of the Month Club. This might be just a yarn she offers. This is her sock yarn. It's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 460 yards, 100 grams. She's one of the ladies or her yarn offerings I opened for Advent. And I ended up selling, which I hadn't, but I did because the lady really wanted it. And I didn't have a project slated for it. But um, anyway, beautiful yarn offerings. I actually did end up buying her Advent again for this coming year. Her Advent for this coming year is... Uh, uh, a pink Christmas. So I'm excited about it. I, she probably still has them for sale. Maybe. I don't know. They may have sold out, but I'm excited to open that this coming advent because you guys know I love the pinks. So I'm excited about that. But this is her sock yarn, uh, Lake at Dust. Isn't that pretty? That would be a beautiful pair of socks. I was thinking more like probably for Brian because of the colors aren't so feminine but but still I put these on my feet any day super pretty I love the grays and the blues together um, I'll put her website down below now this next one is the yarn of the month and I think her she said something about her yarn next yarn of the month might be a little bit late because I think she's going through COVID so I send my prayers out to her I hope she recovers quickly this is month 23 this is called storm clouds this matches that one pretty well, too. It's kind of grays and blues. Storm clouds. So, yarn of the month for Suburban Stitches. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 460 yards. I believe her yarn of the month clubs will fade into each other. It's why it's called a fade club. But again, this is the first one, I think. I thought I had two, but I have one. And I think the next one's coming a little bit late. So we'll put them all together once I get uh, them for throughout the next few months and just see what they look like. Okay, I have one more thing to share for, with you guys from New Yarns and yarn companies. And here we go. This one also has a book in it. So I got this to share. I'm excited about sharing this book with you guys. All right. Ooh forgot what I bought in this. This is from, this is from the Woolly Thistle out of New Hampshire. I'm going to put their yarn company website down below. Oh, this is so cute. All right, so this is from the Woolly Thistle uh, from New Hampshire. Isn't that cute? You got a little project bag, the Woolly Thistle. This says, if you go out, take your knitting. Absolutely. Isn't that adorable? Anyway, this is what I got from them. And let's see. This yarn is a beautiful green yarn. It's lichen. This is Agatha Sock Kit in Rambler. One skein of Rambler in the colorway lichen, which is... Um, let's see what this is. Um, I'm going to have to open this up. This is a... All right, this is uh, 80-10-10. It's 
Dorset Coradell and Gray Romney mix of wool. And this is done, made in the USA. That's why I was really excited about getting this yarn. But isn't it a beautiful green color? I'm going to use this to make Agatha socks. I got the kit. I got the, the kit was the yarn. You get this cute little stitch marker. And I think it's a thistle, which is the woolly thistle. And it, then you get the, the pattern. And I'm going to, the pattern, I can't remember who the pattern is by, but I'll put it here across the bottom. And um, I'm going to make these socks. I can't remember what all I got from them. It's been, I bought this when I was sick. A little feverish. A little retail therapy. Right, this is... Oh, another project bag. I may end up giving one of these away then. Isn't that pretty? And this is the Wooly Thistle project bag. Again, like I said, I may give some of these away. That's what that was in there. And I'll put try to put a picture of the Agatha socks across here. Super cute. If I remember correctly, they're like a textured sock. And again, the sock class wasn't that expensive. I thought it'd be fun to... I want to... I've been trying... I've got a bunch of classes on making socks. And I've been wanting to watch different people. I think get different... You know, different designers get different takes on... Um, uh, how they make socks, different tips. So I wanted to take that. I believe it was like $20 maybe. I can't remember. I'll have to maybe put that across the bottom too. I'm sorry. My brain is really not that great. The other thing I got from them. This is why I probably went shopping at their store. There is a, out pretty recently. Let me get over the crinkle noise. A new book that just came out from Lane Publishing. 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 2. Now, we have all seen the 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 1. Now, we have Volume 2. And, oh, I'm so excited. This is brand new out this year, just to hot up the presses. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at these socks in here. Gorgeous. Look at these. So, that's why I went shopping at their store, because I was looking for that. There's a lot of places that were sold out, but they had it. The Wooly Thistle. So many beautiful socks in this book. So excited to get these, this. And I really want to knit all the socks in this book. I've got, that's why I'm practicing working on my socks. getting Trying to get better. Getting to more textured socks. And getting to the color work socks like I just showed you. That is my goal is to knit some really beautiful color work socks. Kind of like, um, like uh, you would see from... Uh, beautiful countries of like Finland, all the Norwegian uh, colorways all together. And so I'm going to put this back in here and uh, keep it like that until I get a new, I got a new bookshelves that we're putting together for my yarn room and put it in there. But that was the last thing I have of new things to show you. I know it was a lot. So thank you for sitting with me through this. Uh, oh, one other thing, since we've been talking about new yarn, I wanted to say I found out who gave me this yarn, this beautiful uh, Advent mini skein of yarn, was given to me from Susan Fortner. Uh, she um, sent this from the company. The company sent this, and then she sent me the card, and uh, she sent me a, a, a message. And thank you so much, Susan. This is way too generous. This is gorgeous. This is like an Advent set of mini skeins from Expression Fiber Art, and, and I love her yarns. They are so soft, but thank you, Susan, and thank you for doing this. This is my birthday gift this year. It's so sweet, so generous, and thank you. I just love these, and I can't wait to use them. I wanted to say that before I forgot. So, okay, also today, as I was filming this other video, this was also in the mail, and since I split the new yarn offerings off from the other video, the vlog video, I thought I'd go ahead and record a clip for this and um, this is some beautiful yarn that I just got in like I said this is from an Etsy store called Birdies Knits and what she does that I really think is very interesting is she offers a lot of cotton yarns and enter like this is a fingering weight cotton yarn which I think is very hard to find I mean there are some I know like um, Shepia's makes the fingering weight uh, cotton yarn uh, but there's not very many that do and this is hand dyed a little bit premium quality uh, yarn again I will link her shop down below it's birdies knits uh, Etsy store I got two different colorways uh, 
and let me show you these. This is a fingering weight yarn, 437 yards per skein. Um, this yarn is called Emmeline, and it is her second anniversary colorway offering. Look how beautiful these are. Look at the colors in this yarn. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's got like almost every color of the rainbow. It's got like greens and pinks and blues and again, 100% cotton, organic cotton. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's the first one. I got two skeins, 437 yards, so a little bit over 800 yards. That's again called Emmeline uh, is the colorway. You can maybe look for it on her yarn, her Etsy yarn store. I'll link it below again. Now this one is 100% cotton hand dyed. This is speckled variegated. This one feels smaller. Um, this one is 218 yards, so it is smaller. I guess I must have bought 50 gram skeins. Um, this is called Confetti. It's the color and it's a speckled uh, yarn, hand dyed cotton yarn, fingering weight. Uh, so I'm glad I got two of these because I don't make about one skeins worth. I'm used to 400 and something yards. But these are the speckled called confetti, 100% cotton. That pretty feels really great. That's the ply, really nice. And those are the colors. Could use that for with another thing for some other kind of project, or if you just want a, a, a scarf, a cowl with cotton, you could do that. And again, these are the skeins I got from her, Birdie's Knits. And I thought I'd go ahead and share those since I am sharing new yarns and new to you yarns and maybe you haven't heard of 100% cotton yarn and fingering weight before. So, anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these stitch markers and yarns and uh, these may give you some ideas of things you want to add to your stash or maybe you have in your stash that you want to use together. Some inspiration. Um, I... Thank you again for spending time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.